and this is Eric Merritt of Eric Merritt sells AZ Real Estate and Realtor of Home Sort, Northeast Mesa. This is our fifth market update video for this year, May of 2022. And we're going to go into some pretty dramatic and detailed information because we've had a record milestone in our Metro Phoenix area market showing a shift, a definite market shift. So the first part of our video is going to go into our general synopsis, which we normally do, comparing the number of actives right now from the previous month and the number of sales from the previous month, April, and then back to March, and then all the way back to July 13th in our market analysis, market synopsis so that you can see what the monthly absorption rates are, the number of close sales are for each month and the number of actives on any date towards the end of the month, somewhere between the 20th and the 25th. As a second part, we're going to go into the average sales prices in the different price categories from 300,000 to 400,000, four to 500,000. And there are two newcomers in the five to 600,000 price range, sets to 700,000 and 700,000 and above. Uh, the third part, we're going to go into the number of homes that have sold and what their, what the average sales prices were in each of those price categories. But more importantly, the sales price to list price ratios and the monthly absorption rates in these 12 different price categories. On condos and townhomes from 150 to 300,000, three to 500,000, 500,000 to a million, mobile homes 150 to 300, and single family homes from 250,000 all the way up to $5 million and above. Uh, the last part or the fourth part is going to go into the number of homes that sold these 12 price categories and how many were sold, how they were paid for. FHA, how many were sold FHA, cash and conventional VA, and then how many seller concessions there were in FHA and conventional loan categories. Uh, the next part, the last part is going to be comparing how many actors there were in eight different price quarters price categories that had a 50% increase in the number of actives. So there's eight price categories and I'm gonna show you those in the end part. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get this video started. And by the way, this background behind me is a red mountain. Uh, the Salt River is right below it. And then the Granite Reef Diversion Dam is what diverts the water so that we have water into our Metro Phoenix area. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get this video started. Thank you. All right, this is our May 2022 market update video. And we're gonna show you some pretty uh, interesting stuff for this month compared to the other videos. We have something very dramatic in our Phoenix marketplace that has definitely shown a market shift. So we're gonna go into the synopsis here. On May 25th, we had 8,650 sets, number of active, and we sold 9,304 last month. So that gives you a monthly absorption rate of 0 0.93. And actually today on May 26th, when I actually recorded the video, we just popped over 9,000. However, it's on a Thursday. And so the number of actives go up because there's always listings. So you really can't judge it by that because then it goes back down next week on Monday and Tuesday. So this is what the monthly absorption rate is currently as of May 25th compared to April 22nd and 0 0.54, 0 0.59, excuse me. So if you can compare to July, we had 6,044 active, 10,187, 0 0.59. And then we also had a real low one, oh, actually March 4th, 4515 active and 8,001 sold, us, so that 0 0.5 sets monthly absorption rate. And the profit market, market index report shows the demand indexes are all tanking pretty bad. Uh, they're tanking because the interest rates have gone up so much. We're at five and a half percent normally on conventional 30 year and 5% on FHA. So the home buyers that were home buyers when the rates were in the threes or the fours, maybe, maybe probably not, cannot, possibly cannot qualify because the debt to income ratio is too high. So you're gonna lose buyers in the 250 to 350 and 350 to 500,000 price categories on single family homes because of that. 
And you will see that clearly in the number of atoms. They're not getting absorbed at the same rate as they were before, but they still are getting absorbed very well. So you can see like the, the biggest increase or decrease, excuse me, Avondale had a 30% less uh, market demand index of 381.3. And then Queen Creek was the highest that I've seen here on this list at 36%. Only 227.7, Buckeye has gone down pretty far too. 22% less, 178 even on the market de market demand index. Now we're gonna go into the cities that sold, the same four cities sold from three to 400,000. They are Apache Junction, Cassegrand, Coolidge and Forts. Uh, Coolidge was 313 and $15. Forts was 359, 563. Castlegram was 350,000 and 601. Uh, cities from four to 500,000, there's only eight of them. There were 10 last month. Two of them stuck into the five to 600,000, which is Santan Valley and Whitman. So we're gonna go over into these cities. Avondale was 457, 527. Buckeye was 480, 24. Uh, Levine was 471, 345. Surprise, 485, 799. Cities from five to five, 500,000 to 600,000 are right here. Chandler was just below 600,000, but it will go into the 600s next month. Goodyear was 548.93. Northeast Mesa, even though it's not classified as a city in and of itself, it is a specific unique area of Mesa. 521, 521. Peoria, 535, 698. Phoenix, 557, 887. Santan Valley for the first time has gone over half a million dollars in average sales price. Wow. At 508,299. Whitman also crossed into the 500,000 to sits category. 507 sits 12. Cities from 600,000 to 700,000 were Gilbert, sits 76, 476. Uh, North and Central Gilbert sits 14, 954. And uh, Southeast Gilbert, I like to break them down. Southeast Gilbert had a definite $125,000 higher in average sales price than North and Central Gilbert. Queen Creek was 673.77. I think Queen Creek is still going to go into the $700,000 uh, price range, average sales price. It's very high. Waddell was 661.771. Uh, cities at 700,000 and up. Carefree was 1,253,955. Cave Creek was 1,117,332. Fountain Hills with 793, sits 963, right below 800,000. And PV, Paradise Valley, for the first time has gone over $4 million in average sales price of 4,171,423 because the the highest that sold in all of our armless system was $21 million in Paradise Valley last month. It took 171 days to sell. Scottsdale was 1,134,67. And Southeast Gilbert, the three zip codes in the bottom, 85295, 297, 298, 739, 882. So that goes into what the average sales prices were. Uh, here are the monthly absorption rates, comparing them. Uh, mobile homes, 150 to 300,000. Went down a little bit from 99.4 in March to 90, or actually it's a 98.6, so it's not much of a decrease really. Uh, condos and townhomes went down a little bit, 103.4 to 102.7. And then 500,000 to a million in condos actually went up from 100.9 to 102.3. Now, single family homes, 250 to 350, went from 102.1 down to 100.4. That's almost a 2% drop in sales price to list price ratio. 350 to 500,000, pretty much stayed the same, 100, 102 even to 102.2. Single family, 500,000 to 750, Went from 101.7 to 102.3. Uh, let's see, 750 to a million went from 102.4 to 101 even. So kind of interesting there. 
Now we're gonna go into the monthly absorption rates. Uh, single family homes, 250 to 350, went from 0.31 to 0.66. That is more than double. 350 to 500,000, went from 0.38 to 0.66. Single family, 500,000 to 750, went from six tenths of a month, which was 18 days, to 1.02. Single family of a million to two million went from 1.11 to 1.6. Single family two to three million went from 1.28 to 2.26. And the only one that didn't change and stay pretty much the same was three million to five million dollars. From 2.41 to 2.37 for this month. So 11 of these price categories had a sharp increase of monthly absorption rate, except for the single family, three to five million. These are the takeaways here. All condos all, or all condo townhomes price, court, price categories had an increase in absorption rates. Seven out of 12 price categories had a higher sales price to list price ratio with five of them slightly lower than the previous month. Now we're gonna go into the number of transactions showing you how they were paid for. So mobile homes, 203 sold, pretty much the same number as last month. 37 were sold FHA between cash and conventional. That was 137. So mobile homes from 150 to 300,000 had an 18.2% acceptance rate in March versus 17.6 cents on an FHA loan. Uh, single family homes, 250 to 350. 110 were sold FHA out of 643 were closed. And out of the 110 that sold, 28 of them had seller concessions. 350 to 500,000, 3,017 were sold. 340 were FHA, 1,362 were conventional and 953 were cash. Out of the 340 that were sold FHA, 70 of them had seller concessions. Uh, one to two million, 529 sold. 304 were conventional, 161 were cash. Five million and up, 24 sold. Five were conventional, 14 were cash. So the takeaways that I see here are condos and townhomes and 150 to 300,000 had a 6.3% FHA acceptance rate. FHA loans and single family homes, 250 to 350,000. Segment had a 17.1% acceptance rate versus 18% in, in April. So we had 17.1% acceptance rate in April. I should say April and then 18% in March. FHA loans had 11.2% acceptance rate getting under contract in the 350 to 500,000 with only one in five having seller concessions. So if you are in if you are a first time home buyer, you must do whatever you can to go conventional. It will be much easier for you, much less stress. And I'm surprised more realtors don't do this because in all my buyer consultations, I now require this. So that way everyone knows exactly what they're getting into, what to expect, what the sales price to list price ratios are and their price category that they wanna buy in so they know how to make an offer, know what to expect to make an offer. Uh, and also, once you're conventional and you're in these 250 to 350, 350 to 500,000 price ranges, it will be substantially easier to get under contract. So a single family 350 to 500,000, 76 point, 70, nearly 77% were sold cash and conventional. So it was 76.7 versus 77.8. And now I'm gonna go into a new Something new that is exclusive for this month because eight price categories had a 50% increase or more in the number of actives from April 21st to May 21st of this year. So condos from 150 to 300,000, 90% increase from 104 to 198. Condos and townhomes from three to 500,000 went from 880 all the way up to a whopping 376. That's 370%, 3.7 times more. Condos and townhomes, 500,000 to a million, where only 53 were active on April 21st, 
Now, 264 were active on May 20. That's almost four times as much. Single family from 350 to 500,000 went from 1328 active to 2007. 679 more units for sale. 51% increase in actives. 500,000 to 750 went from 1412 to 2331. That's 65% more. 750 to a million went from 624 to 991, 59% increase. And then 1 million to 2 million went from 512 to 845, 65% increase. 2 to 3 million went from 143 to 35. That's a 64% increase. So that pretty much concludes the market update for May of 2022. If you have any questions at all about this material, please give me a call or text me at 480-999-6061. And if you know anyone that is moving into the Metro Phoenix area, this video will definitely help them. So please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. If you find this video very interesting and you want to see these updates, I do this once a month and I also do other types of videos. We're gonna have an RV, our first RV garage market update video for this year. So I'm gonna post that as well on the YouTube channel. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day and the rest of the month and Memorial Day week. Thank you.